Hi, I'm Danny Butler. Hello, I'm Sandy Plenty. And I'm Stu Day. And Hello. this is the Trial Tube Podcast. Yes. So if you've just joined us, welcome to episode one of what can either be a make or break for the channel and also for this new venture for the Trial Tube podcast. If you're driving right now, try your best to not crash the car whilst listening to my dulcet tones. And if you are watching us on YouTube, I apologize for all of this. Um, what can I say? I'm a face for radio. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to start off in the Trial Tube podcast, which is going to be a podcast that's basically, yes, it's about trials, but at the same time, we're going to be, it's a candid conversation what you're going to be listening to, it's all going to be about the sport, what's going on, what's going on for our clubman guys, what's going on at the top tier. And also you can get in touch with us at info at trialtube.co.uk for any questions that you'd like to ask us as well, because we really do care, you know, caring is sharing. And often as I ask on my YouTube channel to share the content, um, nobody does it, but you know, we might get there in the end. Alongside my dulcet tones. I am joined by my uh, plentiful presenters, shall we say. The lovely Sandy Plenty. Welcome to the to the uh, podcast, Sandy. Great to be here, Danny, and great to be here, Stu. Yes. Uh, hi. Hello. I'm Stu Day. <laughs> um, we, we're just a bunch of lads that love trials. We, we all work within the industry. Mm -hmm. We love the industry. Uh, we're super chuffed to see the sport doing well. It's on the up. Trials is, is doing good. Um, hence, we thought it was a good idea to podcast. So if you haven't trials out enough on your Sunday rides, you can listen to it. Listen to us, to us on the way home. Yeah, yeah that's, that's can, always the way. You can listen, you can watch. There's various yeah. ways to do it. Absolutely, and get involved. Yeah, you can basically, you can find the content on, uh, obviously we'll be airing the podcast on the YouTube channel, which will be on the Trial Tube YouTube channel. You can catch that in 4K and you can also keep with us on Apple and Spotify. Uh, other streaming services aren't yet available because I just haven't got around to it. I'm going to be completely it's honest. It's early days. It is early days. Episode one. Well, at least we're doing it. Yeah, one for real. thing at a time. Mm. This episode also is brought to you by the lovely people at Rodent Trials um, up in Barnsley. Obviously, Barnsley's premier trials destination, which it has been for, you know, going on for 30 years as well now. So, so we're, we're, we're very passionate about the sport up there. If this was a mountain biking episode, start... Um, Sandy, I'd say something like, and we're stoked to have them on board. No, yeah. I can't say stoked. You can't say stoked. No, we've got got ripped down in the comments. Oh, did it? Did but it? we're in Stoke, so yeah. Well, that was stoked. Stoke. I was going to yes. say this is a. Uh, is it, I was just going to say a secret location, but it's not. It's right Sorry. in the middle of Stoke on <laughs> Trent. Yeah, it really um, is. It's it's not the most beautiful part of North Staffordshire, uh, but it's what we've got. This now. is beautiful. Yeah, I yeah, think, I think the setup is beautiful. Yeah. If, you were, um, if you're listening to this in the car, we've got a nice studio set up. What can I say? There's been no expense spared to get this going. Uh, I am broke. I am broke as well. So so we've, yeah, yeah. With you. <laughs> we've made a, a big effort to get us going. Yep. And in the studio this week, we have a 1994 shall we say, unmolested oh, TYZ Yamaha. It's pristine. Look at it. It's just been in time capsule. It's gorgeous. Somebody it has... bought that and then got ill and died because it's not <laughs> been used or they emigrated or did a runner from the law. It's just absolutely, look at it. What a thing of beauty. That chain guard is just oh, colours. I love that. Oh, the fact gosh. that Sandy actually focused on the fact that there's a neon purple plastic, well, accessory on there, which is, uh, I think that was, shall we say that's to the period I yeah. say so. And if anyone has ever seen any of my mountain bikes, they are just dripping in purple anodized parts. Yeah. It, my... it really is the colours of the early 90s. I'm sure I saw a load of chavs with a shell suit like that back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Actually, back in the day during 1994, I was eight. So <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I actually acquired that bike is because I always wanted a TYZ, but if I tried to ride a TYZ at the time, it would have killed me. Oh, absolutely. They, those things are not built um, on, a, on a tight budget. They were, they were built when metal was really cheap because I loaded that into the van earlier and, oh, my <laughs> God, I feel like I've done a workout. And you're a strong man. Uh, well, apparently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. You are a strong man. Yeah. So, hang on a minute. You were eight in 1994. Oh, 94? Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. really young. I'm so glad you've said that, you know, because, like, <laughs> when I see people now or if I'm riding the mountain bike, people are kind of like... 
oh, I thought you would have give up by now. I'm like, whoa, whoa, I'm not Steve Colley. You know? uh, whoa. <laughs> Can't I was, say that yet, no. I was 21. <laughs> I, was 21. I, I could have ridden it really well. I just couldn't afford one then. No, they were... Well, I was, don't, I was. don't lie. I specifically wrote... Okay, so for uh, this is off topic. We do have topics, by the way, on the uh, Trial Tube podcast. There is a structure. There is a structure, I there promise. Is. We do get round to it. Just, it takes a while. Um, so Stu did have the rarest, and I'm going to say now, unicorn version of a Fantic, which he won the... Um, Staffordshire Experts, uh, Staff Morns Experts mm -hmm. Championship on as well. Back in the day. He had a Fantic section. 1997. 97, 97 Fantic the section. The very last one. I've, I've got one. Aluminium frame. It's in a million pieces at the minute with Cy Butterworth going through and it is going to be beautiful. It will feature on the channel. Uh, I am more than giddily excited about that bike because it's the first bike I ever had brand new. Oh. And that's why it was a unicorn. It was beautiful. It was Tommy Avala was my biggest hero. The alloy framed bike was launched. It was a thing of real beauty. And then they went bankrupt. <laughs> and they that's what I was say. Wasn't it like um, 98 that they went bankrupt? No, it was halfway through 97. And then Tommy Avala jumped ship to Gas Gas. Um, this beautiful bike was then, I just, I had to sell it quick because I was just going to lose so much money on it. Sounds and, like uh, me and a vertigo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo, controversial. I can't say that, can I? No. Yes, you can. Yes, yes you can. can. Yes, you I'll can. just say, you know, truth. on the Trial Street podcast, we're just, um, uh, this is, it's candid conversation. This is honesty. So if, if you don't like it, that's okay. Moving it's, on. It's just us talking. Though. Yeah, it's just yeah. us it's our chat. opinions. It's a, and it's just a chill chat. It's a bitter banter as well. It's like we're down the pub. Yes. Yeah. Although the time right now when we're recording this, it's just after, hey, it's five o'clock somewhere, lads. It is. <laughs> we've, we've had us Brynn, eh? Brynn, yeah. You, oh. you, we, we've had us Brinner, so Brinner is in between breakfast and dinner, because me and, me and Danny work on a breakfast, dinner, tea scenario, but Sandy's posh, I'm so like... he's on a breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and <laughs> dinner. <laughs> so Sandy's posh because he's come from Shropshire. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. what happens, isn't it? Like, yeah. Hey, listen, I've come from Shrewsbury, not Shrewsbury. So oh, I'm Shrewsbury. not posh. No. I am not posh. No, no, no. Okay. You are posh if you say Shrewsbury, which exactly. I don't know where that is, but I think it's somewhere near Market Drayton. Yeah, Market yeah. Dreadful. Sorry. <laughs> so we, we've introduced him to our our breakfast of choice, which mm. is a Staffordshire oat cake. Unbelievable. Yeah, and they um, are. shock, shock exclusive. Yeah. Um, Sandy Plenty has never drank tea or coffee. I know. I couldn't believe that oh, information. God. But yeah. he likes a hot chocolate. I told you we'd get it in the podcast. Yeah. Well, By the way, we do have a lot of trials content coming up, but this is just utter Please crap. don't. We're just me. getting used to the presenters here. Yeah, like definitely. We're getting, <laughs> he does <laughs> used to them. Don't don't be fearful. He does like a hot chocolate, so he's not hot drinks. Uh, you know, completely. No, if he is choosing a drink, you only choose yeah. the one that you choose when you're eight. <laughs> <laughs> in all fairness, though, I think if we had like maybe slightly older guests on, um, you know, I'm yet to find somebody who uh, picks up a bovril. Because let's be honest, that that's that's a drink for nobody. <sighs> nobody should be uh, unless hey, you need worming. I've sold some pretty dodgy bikes in my time. I've needed a Horlicks so I can sleep. <laughs> <Horlicks. at night. laughs> no man, I don't think no so Horlicks. I <laughs> Horlicks I'm, and... I'm partial to Horlicks as long as it has a triple brandy in it. All oh, right, okay. I sleep, I sleep like a baby then. That's, that's how they do it on the trial school, by yeah. the way. If you are going to go to uh, trials day, get ready for a triple brandy, or maybe Absolutely. he needs one after teaching all day. I'm not sure. <laughs> it depends on the guest. They come over the cattle grid. You never know. And make sure you ask for an oat cake because that that shit's real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Well, we're well, up. moving on from oatcakes. Yeah. Let's get back to trials. So back to trials. Okay. Last year was a big year in trials. 2023, we come out the back of the pandemic. And let's be honest, I think the sport came out swinging. We had, I think the trials had an evolution. Yes. We had an influx of brand new people to yes, the sport. Most definitely. Which was, um, we had people from mountain biking. We had mm -hmm. people from motocross. We had people. Road um, races. We had road racers. Yeah. We had people who've never done the sport ever in their life. But Just brand new to two wheels. Brand the, new to two wheels. The people are recognising that a trials bike, no matter what other sort of cycling or motorcycling you do, a trials bike benefits you from your, from your control techniques, your fitness, your balance trials is it unlocks everything and people understand it and it's finally i think getting a bit of respect from the other two-wheel fraternities out there that it's not easy it's slow but it's not easy honestly no. my my personal like uh, what's the word my guilty pleasure uh is going to a trial and seeing a uh, road racing pro lying down on the novice route yeah. It's, <laughs> I it's like very going, having a look, tantrum yeah like he's supposed to be good at him yeah. look look he can't mm. even get around the corner and yeah that's what trials is giving people. It's giving people a level playing field, mm -hmm. uh, but also improving their riding ability across the board 
and it's doing exactly what it's always done for us. Yeah. But yeah. now the scope is so much wider. Um, you know, whether people liked it or whether people didn't like what I did with Trial Tube when we started, it's Brilliant. it's it's Perfect. it Bang opened on. up to feed people that mm. are not trials based. You know, originally I didn't make Trial Tube to impress your pro riders because pro riders well, don't give anything back. It's to for the club, anyway, isn't yeah. it? And it's I think for the club, well, they're, they're already good. Yeah, they're, they're already good. good. They're and already most there. of them don't pay for anything it. anyway. No. no. Like, and just going back to what you were saying. I think for me, you know, you guys are stalwarts in this, this sport. You've been doing it for, for decades. You know, I've only been doing it for three years, but I've already identified that riding a trials bike is the foundation to all those other two wheel sports you want no to do. So when I go back it. on the mountain bike, I can hit that line way better. It's like, it's like it's all in slow speed after you've ridden trials it just gives you that foundation which is funny really isn't it because we're sort of infamous for not going very fast no mm-hmm. correct and uh, but 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 things just keep on. coming up on people there especially is, there's yeah. a world of multitasking going on with the trials <laughs> rider a world of thinking um yeah most that's definitely what sharpens the senses yeah you've got you know every single limb is doing something yeah yeah it's yeah. not take your brain out and go no this is very much switch your brain on Think about the traction, feel through the traction, through the tyres. Every tiny little movement you do with your body through your feet or your hands has a massive repercussion on the backs, and it's understanding and teaming up. You'll, yep. you'll see the good riders, even just at club level, and that's what this podcast is all about, yep. in grassroots. Uh, you'll know the ones that haven't got a clue, but they've bought a bike. Mm-hmm. Normally, it's a full factory 300 arm wrenching because they've got a fire blade in the garage. And, they and just, 300 doesn't sound like a lot of CCs, no, 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 doesn't no, no. see a fire and you, no. <laughs> you just see them with that bewildered look as they've been ragdolled into the scenery. Uh, and then you'll see the other lads that have probably gone out and bought a 250 or 200 and they've been, they know the stuff and they just make it float effortlessly. Yeah, I think it's that's definitely the one. Trials is the level playing field, but we've seen an influx of new riders in yep. 2023. Yep. Um, you know, we're going to get onto a quick conversation about... Uh, the antics of world trial in 2023 as well. Let's be mm. honest. Um, there's a lovely subject there that we're going to cover or try and cover in this podcast where, where the FIM decided that it was a good idea to remove the safety aspect at world level of taking away minders, which mm. let's be honest, that, I was, I uh, that was a great was, idea. That was I wonder it? if they were so keen to do away with gravel traps as well on road racing. Mm. Mm, oh, seat belts and cars. Yes, absolutely. Let's yeah. do away with roll cages in rallying. <laughs> equivalent of it isn't it yeah what i mean the good thing is right they smoking there was a lot of smoking a lot of head scratching going on when that and happened. the reality is i mean toby had a nasty crash and uh spinal injuries are not good but thank god we've got him back riding and he's riding really well oh, yeah, that I... could have been a career ending paralyzing crash for for what yeah a stupid reason that somebody who doesn't even ride trials made up and i've got to say what a comeback he has made. What a comeback. Fair oh, yeah. dues. Yeah, and him and Wiggy have teamed up. I'll tell you what, yeah. they're going places. That what Pride of Britain. Pride of Britain right now. Yeah, yeah they're doing what really, a team. Really well. yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. And 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 let's be honest, Wiggy's also rocking like specced up mining gear as well. He's taking the mining seriously. I do enjoy that he wears... He always looks much, good. I know he does look good, doesn't he? He's he full does. Essex. If, you, a, if you're listening right now, all Wiggy, of the Essex boys right. always put an effort in. Don't they? They do, always look good. Yeah. Yeah, Fitter yeah. than the Northern women. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, but you can tell we're recording this as uh, four blokes in a room right now, and definitely not. If my wife was here and shared that, she'd kick the crap out of me. She's, yeah, she's not watching, her, right? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a yes, isn't it? Especially if you're editing it. Um, so to give you a bit of, uh, shall we say. What's, you know, an idea of what's going on in the room. We've actually got our other presenter, Ben Butterworth, on the other side of the camera right now. He'll definitely be waving back to us and he'll be on in the next episode. But uh, there is going to be a group of presenters on this as well. You know, we're going to be on rotation because not all of us can be here at the same time because as trials always is, this is, uh, we're doing this out of the good of our hearts. And we do try to occasionally ride bikes ourselves. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice to go riding Every now and then. And there's a world of actual work. Listen, don't you no. talk to me about having, about going it's riding. No. I cannot go riding right now for the sole reason that I do not have any bike. Don't look at me and say you'll borrow me a bike. Like, it's not the same. You need your own bike. Um, 
You got this bad boy. No, no, no. This is an ornament. This is not a bike no. to be ridden. Like... This is an investment, right? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Dan's one of those. He can't ride anybody else's bike. It has to be his own. Yeah. And, it, it, and he's very, very finicky. I'm very it. astute yeah. in my uh, bike setup. Let's hope it comes before next Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, if it doesn't come what before is next coming? Wednesday. What a weapon. What, 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 what do you mean, what is coming? I'm not telling anybody what bike uh, I'm having because... Okay. I'll, I'll let you have a go on mine if it's not one. there. Really? You're, you're, oh, yeah, one Sandy go is, in the uh, car park. I don't know if you can tell. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, um, Sandy has just joined the J JSM squad with John's shirt. Um and between Monday and today, he went home and made his best hoodie to make sure that he could wear it today. I made this myself. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, didn't. It was got delivered by I was just about to say, literally, he's, uh, he was straight on the phone to Spain to the guys at Sora and was like, I'm getting on a podcast on Wednesday. Can I have a new hoodie, please? Does my voice sound like that? No, that's not what you said. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. When we get excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what he sounded like when they rolled it out. Because, uh, I mean, your bike does look stunning, by the way. Sandy. I'm really Aww. happy with it. And I'm really, really, really grateful. Yeah, it's a, it's a hell of a bit of kit. But we'll we'll perhaps see that in uh, in future episodes. We yeah, will. So. We'll talk about that at another time. Mm -hmm. Because what a, it, it, that needs talking about. So uh, 2023, as we do a look back as well during, uh, I'm going to call this segment, shall we call it like Trial Tube News? That's okay. Yes, almost, Trial Tube News. It, dun, dun, dun. Honestly, I just feel like I want to do the Ron Burgundy thing where Go I on. just, you know... News team, assemble. No, I don't think it's a thing, is I'd it? I'd be Brick Tamlin. <laughs> I love Lamp. Um, <laughs> but the obviously, we also had a few other things in British trials during 2023. Um, there is the, shall we say, heated conversation about how good Sport 80 is. Well, that's something I'd like to talk about for sure. Fire yeah. away. Um, well, I think there's two sides to it. Uh, and we have talked about it a little bit before we came on air. So we need a system. We know that. We need a computer system, whether you like it or not. But it needs to be more intuitive than it is, guys. Like, you know, I, I, I started off sticking up for it, started off loving it, and then just a simple task became really, really hard. <laughs> Entering a trial should be easy, and I think it's putting off the old guard. I think some people just want to turn up and ride. What do you think, Stu? Well, I am my first critic to go, I ain't tech savvy. And I ain't got time to faff about to learn. So back in the day, you rocked up, mm -hmm. you unloaded, you stood in the queue, you had a banter with all your mates, yep. you did a little bit of sign on, you walked forward, you give them your 15 quid, you go back with your number or your bib, and you cracked on. I personally see that doesn't need to change. No, at I agree. All. The one thing that I think is good, and I think everyone in this room puts a trial on or has put a trial on, as an organiser, it's quite nice to know who's actually going to come. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So you, you, you oh, right, okay, we've got 50 people booked in. But if you could just do that easily and have entries on the day, in my eyes, that's the perfect combination. It also depends on who's hey. putting the trial on as Correct. well, because if you think about it, when if you're setting a trial, sometimes this can work both ways. It can work for the organiser and against the rider or for the rider and against the organiser. When you... From a rider's perspective, there's always the mystery of who's going to turn up to my trial. Mm -hmm. Have I set sections hard enough for that person that's going to come? That's a good point. Um, but then if you enter on Sport 80 and you get five entries from riders that are well-known and quite good, you do get the occasion, depends who's running the club, you'll mm -hmm. get the occasional uh, organiser that will then be like, oh, we've got such and such coming. And then they'll go out of their way to make mm. the sections harder yep. and then set a trial for five people yeah. and not set a trial for... The mass, the club. The, 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 the hundred yeah. The bread and butter people. payers, the ones True, that actually right. keeps the clubs afloat. Afloat, yeah, which is... Don't pander to the mass. Don't to, pander to, 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 to the, the few, look because, after the masses. Again, I think a lot of, you know, high expert riders, uh, national riders, mm. even world level riders, mm -hmm. if they do turn up to a club trial, they're turning up because they just want to ride between some flags. Yeah, they right. don't want the club to then go out of their way to test the riders' metal. Be like, oh, we've got such and such turning up today, so we've made sections three, six, and nine super hard. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, great. So that means that the experts that are used to riding at club level are going to die. Ultimately, yeah. it's your Correct. day off. You want to ride trials. Yeah. You want to drive home in the van or the car, whatever, and think, God, it's a good day. And it's not fair to expect uh, Pete the plumber who's just come out of intermediates to suddenly then go knocking out British championship sections. It's that's not, it's, it's not what a club trial's Basically, about. Basically, how, how it used to be formatted when we were younger, you know, we've got... Mm. Um, we only had two options, didn't we? We had two options, easy hard route, and easy. Hard route. that was it. 
And so, certain clubs, you'd know if you went to a certain club mm -hmm. that that club's um, sections would be either hard or absolutely bonkers. Yeah. Like, That's still the case now, isn't it? You you learn the clubs, you learn the districts, you think, okay, well, that... It's going to be a hard inters. That's going to be a steady inters. You, I think yeah. that, you get used to yeah, it. You get used yeah. to the different people who lay out. When when I was a kid growing up, I'd know that if we were going to go to YMSA, mm. YMSA was the, what's the word for it? YMSA built world championship level riders. Yep. You know, there's there's old yep. videos that I had on VHS at my mum and dad's house of the YMSA six day that used to run. Right. And the YMSA six day, you'd get, you know, you'd get in entries from, Young John Shirt, you'd get uh, John Lampkin, all, all these people riding there. Graham Jarvis, Dougie was in A class. Like they weren't, they weren't like local to the YMSA's but trials. But they knew that series was but tough they and knew that They needed to go to these trials. So they traveled because they knew. So they traveled because they, that, traveled they, traveled the because they knew the yeah, club correct, was good. Yeah. You know, like back then, Graham Jarvis was based in Kent. Yeah, and he'd travel up from Kent to come and ride. So the this is nineties. Yeah, yeah. But saying, saying that, I mean, we're talking about our local trials. We knew full well the weekend after the Congleton and District Club was going to be a steady one. Yeah, steady. And you, you that's the way it were. Um, that's, um, that is still the case with the Definitely. clubs today. And just going back to, I mean, everything, the whole online thing would become a thing after COVID, didn't it? It did. Yeah. Um, do you know how many people worried who was going to turn up at what trial before COVID? No one. No one, that's true. No, you know, no nobody. ignorance is bliss. Yeah, nobody. That's true. Nobody cared. It was a case of when you found up out on the day when you rocked up and went, oh, that's me, buggered, because such and such is here. Yeah. It, there's nothing wrong with that. No, you make a really there's good point There's nothing there. wrong with that. That's that wasn't a problem. Now, sadly, don't, don't overcomplicate something that was never needed to be complicated. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. Like, you know, I used to go to a trial on the weekend and I'd be like, oh, such and such is here, such and such is here. Yeah, I now that know that if Sandy Plenty runs it, rides into the, the car excitement. park on that JSM gas gas, it is over. Yeah. <laughs> you can pay me after John for the advert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 like, it's, um, no, your bike is really pretty. It's in the room, it by is. the way. So I'm, 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 I'm looking at it. I'm checking it out, you know. <clears throat> I'm, I'm side eyeing his bike from it's across fit. the room. So what else happened in 23? So, Apart from a lot of rain. <laughs> a biblical amount of rain. It did seem that way. Yes, it was. What was it, was it was like on the farm? Sloppy, slippy, mm. slidey. And we had two weeks, and they weren't consecutive. We had one good week. Wetter than an otter's pocket. Where I got all my um, June um, harvest in, and then we had one week in September where I got all my second cut in, and that was all that, that was it. just swamp. Mm. I think that was reflected at the trials everywhere. as well. Oh, everywhere. Yeah. Was, if, uh, you, everybody learned a lot about traction. Last yep. year. I think everybody learned a lot about traction. So I rode the first round of the British Championship last year. Unfortunately, I didn't get time to ride any more due to uh, bicycle bike life, you that know. Was wet, uh, and the, again, a, a trial that was filled with controversy, yes. um, which was which was strange because, believe it or not, the controversy actually didn't come from many of the riders. So the guys that were there on site at Hookwoods mm -hmm. uh, in May, was it May, April, May? And that was, was a wet it, one, wasn't it? It was like, a slop fest. It was mental, yeah. I've. It took me, from what I recall, it took me about a day to clean my bike. Did you clean your bike or did you? No, 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 no. That was that was all me, dude. It was, was me. It? I know it was me because my next door neighbour came out and said, what are you going to do about all this mud that's all over the driveway? And I was like... As you're washing it for the third time. As I'm washing it for the third time, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm like, what are you on about? It's like, I've made a big effort to make this much mess. Um, oh, yeah, gosh. it was horrendous. The trial... So, the, so what category were you in? What you? Uh, I, I rode in the expert class. Yep. I've got no business being anywhere higher. I'm going to be honest. Um, to ride anywhere higher trial two, uh, I don't think the sections are out of my reach in trial two, mm -hmm. but I do think to ride at trial two level, you need to be, to go and ride the expert and have a good day. You know, I was still getting out riding three times a week. Yeah. And I think that's fair. And you don't, you've, the, the other thing is you have a, your career isn't talking behind this microphone, it is you go and do the, your, your mountain bike shows. You don't want that extra risk of, of busting No, I've also got, I, I do have to ride, I do have to ride We're grown-ups. Yeah, I have you to have be to a, a grown-up. Yeah, I have to make sure that I am fit to ride the bicycle, um, which I don't care what any of the motorbike lot say, controversial, that uh, push bike trials requires a lot more <laughs> fitness than motorcycle trials. It God. definitely does. Well, absolutely, that goes without saying. I ride motorcycle oh trials for a gosh. rest. Oh my gosh! It's yeah. full of suspension. Yeah, it's, it's it feels it's, it's like a, a holiday, a cracker's um, degree of fitness. 
Yeah. Uh, and when I get Agreed. back on the push bike, it feels like I've been murdered. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's crap. I hate it. I mean, I really like it. Sponsor me next year. Um, <laughs> but the, the, you know, there's a big difference there. And, but at Hook Woods, the problem was the fact that it was so muddy and the riders were having a great time. The sections were challenging. Mm-hmm. Uh, the club down there had laid out a brilliant event. The night before, it smashed it down with rain for a change. Um, but the only people that seemed to be angry at Hookwoods were the people watching. I know that doesn't really? sound normal, but... Are like, we talking people watching who are perhaps so uh, related to the riders trial, or yeah, trials, inner circle? Inner circle trials community people mm-hmm. that were like this trial is way too hard and it's dangerous for the riders. And then all the riders would be stood there again. That's tasty, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like I'm just cracking on. They're yeah, just yeah. cracking on and getting on it. But for some reason, whenever I stopped in a queue or wherever there was a conversation going, there'd be like a bunch of chaps that were just stood around basically dissing it. And I was like, if it's such a problem for you, then just don't wear a number. Well, I did a little bit of homework uh, yesterday, rung a, a rider that was in the trial too. And was just chatting away with him, uh, someone who lives near me. And he was saying, no, the sections were absolutely bang on. The severity was perfect. He said the only thing that he could ever say, and it's not even criticism, it was almost like forced criticism, was the time. He said the, the, the time to severity ratio was just slightly out. Yeah. Um, and from what I gather, round two, was it was addressed and it was calibrated and... Things move forward. You can't say fairer than that. Then. No, you can't say fairer than that, can the you? lesson, exactly. then you, all you can do is commend them. Yeah. yeah. If the, if and it's the same right. for everyone. It is the same for everyone. Everyone's in it. It is the, trials is the most level playing field. It um, is. You, yeah. you, there's not, it's not like if you go go-kart racing and your kart puts out way more power, you're quicker. Try, it's not like that. Yeah, trials. or like downhill when yeah. you get your run in the dry <clears> and then it rains. <throat> yeah, correct. Everyone's there together in the slop yeah. with the same clock. Yep. And the same severity. So. Yeah. I thought, I, I, well, I thought it was a brilliant trial anyway. I didn't break any bits on the bike. Yes, it did take me three weeks to get clean, but um, I'm going to be honest, it was it was challenging. It wasn't dangerous uh, because there was a difference between hard and dangerous. Mm-hmm. Um, and I enjoyed it. I had Good. a really good time. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, I would have I liked to go around the trial a little bit quicker, but... Also, you know, on observation, I actually did really, really well. But on time, I dropped 46. So <laughs> I, I think I, I just, it just learning what curve. it was, you know. Big learning yeah, well, you curve. Know, no. Yeah, so um, would I do it again? Yeah, in a heartbeat. Are you going to do a round this year? Uh, I'm going to try my best to do as much as I can. Cool. Um, because It's a busy year. It is a busy year. Already a busy it's year. It's a busy year. We're yeah. going to be releasing these We've... podcasts, uh, you know. Yep. Uh, they're bi-weekly for yep. people that are listening right now. Don't crash your car. Look at what you're doing. Um, <laughs> and... Yeah, buy the weekly releases on the podcast. I'm going to try and make normal trial tube. Uh, you know, we've got bike reviews coming up. We've got a follow-on video from uh, the video that me and Ben Butterworth made with the classic bikes as nice. well. Because that went off like, that went off, you know? Yeah, it did. The, your, your ratings are, are, are fun, second to none. But it's because it's good content and it's real and it's honest. Well, it dep- depends who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> so. And on the plus side, we haven't got to worry this year if it is another rubbish summer at least we've got the indoor school that we can, uh, it's all oh, lit yeah, up. Yeah. That'd be so cool. the weather was that bad so, last year, Stu actually built his own indoor because you hated the we, weather that much. It's true. What does that say? Sick it's of washing true. the bike. <laughs> <laughs> and talking about washing bikes, Dan's clean bike is on another level to anybody else's clean bike. Oof, I love a clean bike. <laughs> oh, another, maybe not. Maybe it's just me that's a scruffy git then. Another thing I think, speak for all of us, we, we probably like to bring this podcast to some different locations as well, maybe. Yeah, obviously it's mm. uh, it's mobile. We can, we can move all of this if you're watching again on youtube like and subscribe i can't help myself um if you are listening on radio tough yeah well you can still subscribe to spotify pull over find a nice parking place then like and subscribe yeah there you go that's the one pull over stay safe you know um but the yeah i think i think the idea of it going forward is to we'll go to events Mm -hmm. we'll as long as we're invited it'd be nice to be invited absolutely Um, i'm I'm gonna do a few for gate crashing Yeah, we're going, to, we're going to do a few little bits of different features. So we may ask you to uh, send in your pimped up build because there is a, a, some very, very nice built trials. We could a call lot it of effort. Readers' rides. 
that makes me think of a, a, exactly. A, 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 <laughs> is that different oh. than Listener's Lays? <clears throat> I'm a different magazine. It's, I was it's reading. a magazine <laughs> that uh, you, I can't look at because I've got a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> Top shelf material. Oh yeah. my gosh. Um, yeah, so we'll rate your ride. That's, right, better. Uh, that's better, yeah. I like that. Rate your, your ride. ride. I was going on a very it's bad either going to be, I was like, like, It's either going to be, hmm, or it's going to be cool, or ooh, super cool. Yeah. yeah, you need the. So we, we, will, we will in time. Is that like breathy give you for the give, person give, listening oh, in the car right now? Oh, super cool. <laughs> I can't wait to edit that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do that as well. There's going to be plenty of features going on. And every email that is sent in or question that's sent in, I read them all. Yeah. If you look down the comments, uh, I, I, I have no life. Yeah. So. We're all very approachable. Um, we're big boys. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you call us a... <laughs> I was nearly did it, you know. I was so close. There then. will be no swearing on this podcast. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> literally, the, um, yeah, the idea was obviously sweet steak. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there, there was, was a bet on. No, I couldn't help it. It was so. It was just there, wasn't it? You know? <laughs> sorry, sorry. If you're listening to this in the car and you've got kids, I, I apologise. I'll, I'll bleep it out later. Um, they know more words anyway. What else happened? So we also obviously had in uh, in 2023. Uh, there was plenty of um, a bit of silly season at the end of the year as well mm-hmm. gosh wasn't there <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll touch on silly season now because I, I thought that this year was awesome let's be honest we had the Grata Roller uh, incident at the start of the year where he signed for Vertigo big whoop and then two trials later realised that he needed to stay exactly where he was mm. and he went back yeah, I've um, not ever seen that before has that ever happened before certainly there's always oh. a bit of musical chairs there is yeah but like Back there and I, I, back. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't <laughs> a know. Bit if, of yo-yoing. I don't That's know if I've seen any yo-yoing mid-season. Even in life. Like it's yeah. yeah, pretty crazy that. I know, right? I mean, the only person. I mean, we can all agree again. Pride of Britain as he is right now. Uh, the only person that I really wanted to see the support of when he was riding at world level was, um, you know, I wasn't secretly backing him. I even said it on the Trial GP live commentary was the guy that really needed the bike to help him do the job was Toby Martin. Yeah, correct. Mm-hmm. And um, I think he's finally got it this year. I do as well. He's now, I, I've got my, I don't know any ins or outs. That's not a stalker, is it? No, not anymore. No, I, no, I, no not at all. You I think, hear I think Fuji's looked at him, winked and gone, I've got one of these works bikes in me, Gary. There you go. Put some stickers on it. Run that orchid. Mm. Um, but, uh, <laughs> what? Fuji from Sheffield? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not. I fooled you, lad. I told you. Um, <laughs> it, he's definitely, it, there is a little bit special on that bike and he deserves everything he can. Yeah. Okay, he's think- ra- he rides the wheels off it. He, he's come from, he's riding phenomenal anyway, mm. potentially life-changing injury, yep. but then comes back, Stronger. Even better than he was. Stronger. That's that's unreal. So I'd take he, my hat off to absolutely. the guy. Absolutely. God, I miss being that young, do you? I miss <laughs> my joints being that flexible and bouncy. <laughs> yeah, he's uh like early in the season, let's be honest, the Honda that he was on mm-hmm. probably had a couple of trick bits on it, but I wouldn't exactly say it was far away from a stocker. No. Any motor absolutely. work, do you think, on the first one? Oh, I don't think not. so. I mean, I in comparison he, to the rest of the bikes, it sounded like a tractor. I, I, I think the, he, it, how much um, his his riding's leapt forward. Um, he's just eat, slip, breathe, trained, and I think Honda have recognised it and gone Rato. Come he's on. a talent. Uh, he's he's the future. Yeah, Come on, let's give him. He's the future. Right, let's get this youth get this youth moving. Yeah, no, I, I'm looking forward to interviewing him. Yeah, me too. He's yeah. uh, he's already said that he's uh, willing to come on to the Trial Tube podcast, which yeah, is great. Fantastic. Thanks, Toby. Um, yeah. But I know that they're going to have uh, Alex on as well. That would be epic. The duo. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to light it a certain way because obviously the glint off his Essex teeth, in it. <laughs> you know, he's going to look proper. Uh, he's such a good looking sod, isn't he? I know. He's a handsome boy. I know. <laughs> he's I a know. handsome boy. Um, so we had the, obviously we had the moment of Grata jumping bike. From Vertigo to Beta, mm-hmm. um, we come to the end of the year. Yeah. Shock value, gents. What do we I think about never, Ragger getting sacked? Thought, I thought Adam was going to see his time out with TRS. I never saw that change coming. No, I that, thought he was to an odd one. one. <clears throat> to an odd one. I'm on, uh, and obviously... I don't know what conversation went on behind doors, but... Probably never know, will we? No. What was really interesting, which I'll let you guys talk about, is uh, the bike that was seen... Sheffield and what <laughs> we haven't got there yet we can't talk about that yet no okay, we will, we're, we're going to talk about DL I've been told 12. I need to do better we're going to talk about DL12 um, okay. maybe 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 next episode 
we, we've got a lot. Yeah, to cover. we've got a lot. We've got a, a lot, lot to unpack to for that one. Definitely, yeah, that's um, almost an episode in itself. It is. <laughs> Episode two, tune, tune in for the 12 Jude podcast Indeed, where no. we uh, review the DL12. Mm -hmm. um, in local, uh, obviously, we've had like Harry Turner's uh, gone onto the Blue Machine, which I think he'll do incredibly well. Yeah, that's through Road and Trials as well. Yes. Um, I, I think, uh, I mean, we've got Brit British Trials is really on the up. We've got a cusp of fantastic young riders coming through. Uh, we've got the Hemingways. Like say Harry Turner, Jack Dance. This, mm. these guys are dedicated to sport, and I think in the next ten years they are going to all become the kings. Of the sport. You know, you know, he's had a really fast turnaround. I feel, and I know it's not a super fast turnaround in his riding, and also somebody who gets some attention because I feel like he, because of his heritage, mm -hmm. go on, but not necessarily for who he is as a sole rider, and maybe mm -hmm. it would get overlooked in that group. Alfie Lampkin, absolutely, wow, massive he's progression. Crafting grafting that lad is and yeah. he's always smiling he is he which is, is what we want in this sport. he's not a stroppy yeah. one well we don't know what he's like behind doors no nah, he is he he's, isn't he's a nice guy i've had the pleasure of uh spending some time with alfie when yeah. we've done the push bike show and motorcycle show alongside doug at western beach race mm -hmm. and stuff like that and on some other work as well and honestly i find i find alfie, alfie to be one of the coolest and i don't think it's easy when your dad is doug lampkin or your granddad. You or, your, or your granddad is, you know. Yeah. pressure. That kid's boots, you know, he's got, he's like, right, okay. But he ain't shy. He's, no. He's, he's rising up to it. He's he? making the effort. His oh. riding's getting better. I know he's been spending time out in Spain. And you boys know there's a difference between being a rider and taken everywhere by your dad. Yeah. And there's a big difference between being that rider and being in Europe on your own and doing the riding, going Absolutely. through the sections, going out, practicing, yeah, you know these are young lads. They're out on the continent. Yeah, it's a good time. But I also Mick. think, sorry, Stu. I also yeah. think um, Doug's going about it the right way. I think he's oh, yeah. he's not piling the pressure on. You know, he's he knows his own son, and he knows the timeline they need to work on for him to to flourish. So I think he's doing it well. Like I say, super exciting times. A lot of good talent coming through, mm -hmm. um, which hopefully we'll get into the studio and chat to them yeah those boys have also said that they're willing to come in they're yeah. all they're all sort of like um hounding around spain yeah. at the minute because i mean i don't blame them because our weather is awesome so we're going to spain yeah yeah we're off to spain okay. like right and after this talking about how trials i'm going i'm taking this back earlier conversation mm -hmm. of how trials helps in so many other things um local lads around here that are taking the extreme enduro world by storm mm -hmm. are the brightmore boys yeah we know how good they've been on trials bikes so that's just to you know that's young blood coming through in a different sport but yet again where has that skill come from trials trials Trial yeah let's be honest the even the progression from you know your riders like like billy bolt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. billy making the big change over johnny walker johnny walker also trials it, heritage there. we go back further well, you're great grimbo yeah i was yeah. just gonna David say night it's trials, it, trials, trials, trials. Some of the one. old videos of like David Knight riding a Fantic are truly very funny because <laughs> he is a large person and that bike looked very small. Man, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, his brother Drew and, and you know, it, it, they, they all conquered and did well in the Enduro all from a trial start. Mm -hmm. That's that's exactly So right, if, yeah. if, if, if anything's to be learned and people are thinking of getting, getting the kids in, and there's no better time to get them in at the minute because all, there's all the little electric bikes and um, it's never been easier to get into trials, has it, from a young start. No. Uh, it then brings you on to such a skill set. Even I think the electric bikes fun. are doing a good thing for that. Like, like even, I was going to say Osset, um, because I guess the Osset was, I suppose, like it the first the, version. It was the original. The original. It's a great gateway. It's the it's way in. It's a gateway in. bike. It's the yeah. way in. But yeah. the, there's other electric bikes now that are really are chomping on the tail. The, t the new TRS. The oh, TRS the new TRS is the coolest little kid's bike, let's if, be honest. If, if I was five years old and that was under my Christmas tree, I'd just like, wow. You'd be buzzing, wouldn't you? Wow. Be, <laughs> wow. Like, yeah. And that's... I think there's more to come from other manufacturers. I do, I yeah. I've, yep. I've, heard, uh, I've heard on the grapevine, but, you know, rumours as yeah. they are, people like to talk. I don't think... Um, the electric revolution is is going to outrun the petrol anytime soon. Now, when are we when are we going to see a fleet of electric bikes um, at trials? <laughs> I, I know exactly. At, at, at trials day, there will be a full electric fleet. Never. <laughs> <laughs> but give were. me the smell of two stroke. 
Hang on, if I could bottle two stroke and like make it into a cologne, oh, yeah. cologne or I'm not sure about a perfume. I was going to go perfume. That's what I was going to yeah, go with yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? What's that uh, cologne you're wearing? Uh, oh, de, de two stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Or for the four strokes. Oh, it also, the, the kind castrol, of oh. like the kind of woman that you would attract wearing <laughs> oh, de two stroke. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. is that a thing? The kind Does of awesome women. Oh, they do. Oh, they, they, absolutely. Do they? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'll come in from workshop with a little bit of petrol, bit of really, grease, and she's like, "Oh, yes, really." <laughs> Sometimes. What's his name? Other <laughs> <laughs> other other times, it's like, oh, yeah, a bit cowy. <laughs> we need an, we need an after dark. Uh, segment. Well, I thought this was <laughs> yeah, trying to move after dark. Uh, that, um, from the uh, female perspective, I've I've been often been told by some of the uh, female um, riders in our in our group that uh, there's now better than the back end of Gabrielle Marseille. So that's what um, I've been told. I, I, I uh, just Fair one. we 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 <laughs> was witness to um, Adam Ragger in his one piece, and I think that made all the girls swoon, didn't they? They do like a nice one mm-hmm. piece. Yeah, as long as I don't talk to him. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, Silly Season saw a lot of people yeah. jump ship, change yep. bikes. Um, obviously, obviously, we also saw the move of Annie Jolibert away from Beta and yes. over to TRS, basically filling Adam's shoes. Musical chairs. Big oh, shoes. Big shoes to fill. I agree. I Can agree. you fill them? Ooh. Or is he going to need a few years? Ooh, what's it got for you years? Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, Aniel's quite young, so. isn't he? Aniel's so. pretty so. young, you know. I think so. um, We're dealing um, with a legacy rider, and uh, it's yeah, it's very difficult, isn't it? You've got to remember that, like, Adam has the most world championship points aside from I, Tony. I want to, uh, in, uh, so Tony, sorry. In, li- mm. in a little um, uh, while, I want, actually want to talk about how it, because Tony is like this god of a rider. We've never seen a rider like him ever, have we? No. And it must be a little bit demoralising to be in that top few of the world and know you're never quite going to be there. So my question for you two guys is, will we see Tony at the Scottish Six Day? Because personally, I would really like to see how he operates at such an event. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Okay. I, I think he'll come to the Scottish when... He's done with the world championship, Do you? and I think it'll be more of like a a fun trial yeah. for him because when it comes down to the Scottish, it's a different style of riding, yes, but controversial or not, if Doug Lampkin can still win the Scottish oh, gosh, yeah. at his age that he is at now, and I'm not saying this in a way that's you know I'm not being condescending towards. Uh, Doug's legacy because Doug's, Doug, the man. Doug's the man. You know, yeah. he's, 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 he's nothing to prove. But the sections suit Doug. He's no, the, the sections suit the la- everybody. Yeah, okay, well, let yes, me, that's true. Yeah. Let me put it this way Doug, when his best ever six days, when he's in his prime, which arguably you could say was last year, but you know, the best Doug we've ever seen at six days, Tony now, who wins? Tony. Tony. Tony's younger. But the six days. Yeah, still Tony. Tony. You know what really makes me laugh? Level. Right, we get this at any level in trials. Okay, mm. when people say to you, "You're at a club trial, right?" We'll mm-hmm. take a club trial for instance. You'll see an expert, clean an expert section, and then you'll get an outside viewing opinion of somebody who may not have a level the same as th- th- that rider. And I'm not even talking about Doug and Tony right now. I'm just talking about two riders. Do you think that Tony Bow or the expert rider? is not going to be able to do a section that is easier than a world championship section. That's Tony, fair. Are Tony's, the Scottish sections Tony's easier than the world level, championship? Yes, yes they, they are. are. Of course they are. Tony's level they of are. riding though is like something we've never ever seen. But would you agree that the six days doesn't just come, it's not just the sections, it's the it's the going, it's the day, it's the, Tony, Tony the second trains. day, third day. Do you think Tony doesn't train 10 days uh, seven days a, a week, week, ten hours a day. When He's people say, "Oh, he'd yeah, never fair ride as well at Scotland," fair one. I just bothered. think I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it. Oh. Well, wouldn't we all? Wouldn't we all? <laughs> wouldn't we all? But the, there must be some reason why yeah. none of the top Spanish lads are that bothered about going. So yeah. to give there you must a... be something. I don't know what it is. I don't know. No. But they, they're not better. attracted. <laughs> they don't want to be. They don't really want to be there. Maybe it's the midges. I Maybe they're scared. I agree. If Fair there's one. any reason not to go to the Scottish Six Day, <clears throat> it's the little bleeders that are mm. trying to bleed you dry. Yes. You need some Avon. Uh, oh, yeah. Skin, skin so, so soft. soft. 
Yeah, that's I did it when stuff. I rode the UCI World Championship up there. You know, is yeah, that why you look so young? I wish I did. Did you endorse it? I think you've got someone. <laughs> It's a camera effect. It's a cam <laughs> Stu's often been told that he's like, you know, he's ageless, Stu. He doesn't age. The, the, the grey is, it, is you it giving you, a, giving you away now? He's a national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> he's a natural treasure. You know? He's yeah. a, a natural. Um, so very quickly, quick interlude as this mm. episode's sponsor, uh, this episode, which the sponsorship was supposed to be halfway through, but we got sidetracked by uh, Charles Chats. Um, it's brought to you by Road and Trials. Obviously, up there in Barnsley, ran by the uh, the K family. Yeah, I used to ride against Tony back in the day. Did you? Mm -hmm. So, what brands do they do? So, the brands that they do are they've got Jitsi. Uh, they've been trying to get Sora in the door, but they can't get Sandy in the door. Oh, he's oh, that's not, the, he's that's not quite the case, but we're on it. We're on <laughs> it's it. Not quite the case. <laughs> <laughs> exclusive, exclusive. Um, it's coming. They, it's, coming. it's coming. It's coming. In they specialize in Sherco, okay. Vertigo, Beta, TRS, and they've got a huge selection of road bikes wow. as well. Road and trials. Yes. The Shocker. name gives it away. Yes. <laughs> it really does. If, they do if exactly you've the got a big chunk of cash burning a hole in your arse, go there and you'll come back probably with a, a nice Triumph or Ducati or as well as whatever. And a trials bike. Like yeah. Spare. And, and all the kit for everything. So what happened to you? I'm a 30 bikes in and counting. Wow. I'd he is. He can't, can't help himself. But yeah. you know, they've got a fabulous location in Barnsley. Uh, they've got an amazing workshop, two-stand workshop. Um, they know what they're doing. Yeah, they really know what they're doing. When a bike comes out of road and trials, PDI'd, ready to go, um, you know, my, my own brother had a vertigo, for instance, from there. It's and it is, it's been sorted, it's ready to ride, and what can I say? Their and experience... The, and their backup is second to none. If yeah. all, I've had brand new bikes that have not been quite right. Um, we all do. That's We've all had a lot of nature. Uh, yep. That is nature. And they just they're instantly straight in, let's sort it, bump, 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 bump. You, you can't put a price from, on customer service. From, from what I've no. experienced um, and heard about those guys, they're second to none. They're brilliant. No, you can't put a price they, on customer they, service. They are one of the better. You can't put um, a price on audio quality. Emporiums. I can. Obviously, Tony as well and Kerry from Road and Trials have uh, been in the sport themselves for such a long time. They've sponsored multiple riders through the years, uh, the likes of James Dable, Jack Price. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to Road and Trials as well, they've got a wall of uh, Road and Trials sponsored Sheffield bibs. Did you know that oh, Road wow. and Trials it's actually nice, uh, sponsored the Sheffield indoor trial from 1996? From when, when it was B&B. When it was B&B, yeah, that's wow. right, before it was Road and Trial. Mm. So these guys... Do we know what the B&B stood for? Um, bread and butter? Maybe. Bed and breakfast. <laughs> I have so. no idea. Honestly, the uh, Bob and I, Brenda. I did make a trial tube about this, so I, uh, I uh, yeah. But basically, there's um, I mean, there's pictures of Tony yeah. with uh, alongside the likes of Hand, John Shirt. Little rider, Tony. You know? Yes, I have heard he's got a collection of Scott spoons. Yeah, all right. To his All name right. as Tony. Yeah, right. uh, he's been a minder at world championship level mm -hmm. as well. Um, the entire family, and oh. they're going to come on a corporate date, trust they? Yes, I know that they're going to... So they've got all, all the girls that work nice. in the office are going to be... Their trials onto, onto flavour is trials day. You know? So what you're saying is the shop's got heritage. It's got it's some heritage. It's got pedigree. It's got the, uh, it's the real deal. Yeah. And, you know, we're really happy that those guys have uh, supported us, not just on the Trial Tube podcast, but obviously they've done it before for Trial Tube. Mm -hmm. Um they're committed to the sport. They're committed to the sport. Yeah, they're committed to forward-thinking trials. I mean, yeah. did you see their stand at the DL12? It's impressive. It was. Very I did impressive. not. Tell me about it. Mate, their stand was like, so I don't want to like... Right, I'm going to give you an example of other people's stands, okay? A lot of people were able to take with them bikes and gazebos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rodan Trials built a stand that was yeah. worthy of the NEC. It proper. was proper. It, was, it was proper. They had brand activation on there. They had people winning stuff. And do you know what they yeah. sold at the DL12? Go on. Nothing. Yep. But they give away thousands of quids worth of stuff. Fair play. Yeah, they were brilliant. Loads of merch to Fair people. Play. They were yeah. on it. I tried yeah. to get to that stand at the DL12 and it was <clears> impossible. And that rumble. tells you that they were investing in the people in the sport. Yeah. yeah. So you know what? And that's not me advertising that on the podcast yeah. right now. I'm just describing them. Yeah, I they, don't think they're giving to the sport. They're giving, man. They're making the effort. And if mm. if somebody's making the effort, then we applaud them. Take yeah, my absolutely. Hands off. So great work. No, but Road and Trials were gracious enough to uh, sponsor this first episode. So Which after is, this, boys, I'll take my Bentley, you get in the Ferrari, and yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you I'm in the middle. I'm a Porsche guy. Yeah, yeah. And, I'll, I'll, and we'll Me be in a Porsche guy. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm in the guy. Robin Reliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a classic. It's worth more than the Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> it's yellow. It is the original one with trotters on the side. On the yeah. side. 
Tyres independent tra- trading. Um, <laughs> I think that's where the mountain bike industry is going, isn't it, Sandy? Yeah, what? Just like a yeah, better in reverse. <laughs> better in reverse. I'm um, just amazed by the price of some of the bicycle side of things. That's just like, say, so what now? Yeah, push irons wow. are, uh, yeah. Dear. Yeah, I, I hear some people in trials saying, oh, this is expensive, or a trial is now £20. And I'm thinking, crikey, <laughs> this is cheap. You want to go mountain biking and you've yeah. got to pedal youth. Yeah, and, and pay £70 to do a mountain bike race. So. Yeah, Gosh. so that's it. It's, uh, yeah, British cycling aren't messing around. They know what they're doing. I think we'd say for 2023 as well, trials is growing, isn't it? Yeah. The, the sport is massive. There is more people. Uh, there's the, the trials are booming from beginner level um, to, to club level. Even there's a bigger turnout at your national levels. The, there's more riders. Yep. There's more trials. Just the scene in general there's a good you, vibe. You play riders. There are more play riders mm-hmm. than there's ever been. Um, the trials is healthy. It is very, very healthy. All the, all the motorcycling sports are maybe declining a little. Trials is not. It is on the... Well, up. we've seen so many motocross riders come across to the sport, yeah. especially for the introduction of this of this first, first podcast, you know. Um, all of my... Well, I also run another podcast, obviously, for the guys at Talk Moto and Moto mm-hmm. Mag and... You know what? That's all motocross riders. And mm-hmm. whenever we have the off-camera chat, it's all about trials. They want to talk trials. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. The, the Wob TV channel that I help work with, with Rob Walters from, from Wob. Mm-hmm. he's building a TLM right now. Yeah, they all, he's got all they, these incredible all motocross trials. bikes in there, which are, you know, he's got a Ricky Carmichael factory bike wow. in his collection that was Ricky's. And he's more interested about... Have you seen this TLM shroud I've got a hold of? And I'm like, Rob, you know you've got Ricky Carmichael's bike over there, right? And he's like, No, yeah. dude, look at this TLM, and it's a box of bits. It's possibly the crappiest mm. thing I've ever seen in my life. And he's like, I, p- I picked a really rare one to build as well. I don't know. I was like, Yep, yep, yep. 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 Finding parts for TLM is dead easy. Um, <laughs> so you know, he's 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 well on that. So that's it, it's showing that trials has got such a should we say cross the board. Um, and crossover appreciation appreciation Appreciation. that's a good word (laughs) dude appreciation the other thing i would say on the subject as well is yes we've got the mountain bikes coming in we've got the motocrossers coming in but the the old guard the 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 trials riders who have never deviated from trials welcome those groups in and i really like that as a mountain biker getting to trials there's no snobbery. There's no, oh, what are you doing here? It's it's, yep. it's really, really, I think trials in the car nice. park is a friendly place. Yes, I agree. Have you ever been a motocross in the car park? I lock the van. They, they, <laughs> they, 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 they want to stab you with a blunt spoon. Uh, you're not they even just, on the line yet. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try and do the race to the butty van? No. <laughs> At a trial, I leave the keys in the van. The Enduro paddock, paddock isn't as brutal. Is it not? It's in between. Is it? The trials is the, the softest. I, I, I once went about across and there was okay. a naked child with a flaming torch that ran past the van. <laughs> Enjoy those lovely. Carrying a freedom flag. Yeah. I, I did a couple of motocross events and when I saw one of the lad uh, racking cocaine up and snorting as he was then to go to the start line, I'm like... <clears throat> did he get the whole shot? <laughs> <laughs> The whole <laughs> shot, the fence, everything. You know, he took it all out. It was uh, just mad. It was just the one, just... wasn't it? Like, I don't Whoa. think, uh, yeah, going about across. The, I mean, it's a, it's a different breed. Trials is a nice place to be in the car park. And, you know, for people yeah. that are listening to uh, to this right now, don't crash your car. Um, I think that they probably see that, you know, people, we're, from, we're from three different riding styles yep. and backgrounds. Backgrounds. Yep. And backgrounds. And uh, I've sat here for almost the best part of an hour now and just we, and we haven't even up. got onto real real hardened subjects yet we will do in the next episode we will in the next episode make sure you tune in because uh, also on the next episode coming up we have uh, a fresh presenter aspect as well mm. um introducing our fourth. we're going to be in- introducing our fourth yes our the uh twin well, shot legend twin shot legend i love that he, he is our classic um correspondent is he balls that's his Carbon fiber RTL oh, shroud. Yeah, 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 he's about it's, as it's, classic it's, as my it, brief. Yeah, it's kind of pimpy. Yeah. Uh, that is bad boy. Uh, yeah, I think he's just basically what he does is he takes a good classic and molests it fully. Like, and makes sure that it's just as t- pimped out as everybody else's twin shock. Have you been, been a twin shock trial? There's more what money spent in that car park. Well, that's what we're going to quiz him on. It is, yeah. Like, how much money are you willing to spend on this old bike to, <laughs> to make it competitive? You could have bought 
you know, a, a high level gas gas GP or a vertigo or, or three of them, or three of them <laughs> just for the of... price of your left fork leg. Um, <laughs> so it's definitely, I think, yeah, there'll be, definitely be the introduction of uh, the mighty Ben Butterworth on the next one. And um, again, if you are keeping up with us, uh, throughout the podcast. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Um, it's really important that people get to try to understand that sharing is caring. Absolutely. You know, if you can That's share right. this content, it'll really help. Not me, not Sandy, not Stu. It'll just help trials. The sport. The that sport. We love. Like, get on board. Don't yeah. be kind of like, oh, I'm not sharing that because I don't like Danny Butler. I don't either. But the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We do. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 well that's You're two. Right. That's two. Ben right. Butterworth just fell off his chair. He's like, yeah, he's a prick. Well, um, we're, we're all just lovable knobheads. Yeah, that's, that's what we are. We know what else can you do? We do. We know we, where there's, we're there's at, no, man. It's okay. No you don't have to remind me we're in the comments, primidonous. you know. Um, and, and if there is any good ideas, uh, we're open to them. If we don't think it's a good idea, we'll say, yeah, jog on. Um, <laughs> but if it's a good one, if it's a good one, we'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll actually even give you a bit of We're always open to suggestion. I think. Yeah, reach out, send us a message, send us a message yeah. personally or yeah. to the channel. Yeah, Instagram. You can find us uh, at TrialTube on Instagram, at TrialTube on Facebook. You can also yeah. email us in info at trialtube.co.uk. Are... At Sorrow. At Sorrow UK at for Sorry Sandy. Yep. Yeah, I'm at Trial State on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, and um, no, nobody's sharing their Tinder profile. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you can fans. find me on Grinder. Oh, Grindr. Only <laughs> fans. Only fans. Um, um, no, we haven't got one of them. We yeah. haven't got one of them. There's yeah. kids in the car now going, Mom, oh, what's an OnlyFans? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's like, I'll tell you when I get off work. Um, it's another content platform. It's another content. <laughs> nice answer. There's no Sandy. trials on that. Really, really no good answer. It's another content platform. And we'll wrap this one up. Hey? And we'll wrap this one up. We'll be back soon. But uh, until the next time, stay safe if you're listening to this and driving. And most importantly, uh, keep your feet up. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from him. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and goodbye from me. Thank you very much. We've been the Trial Tube Podcast. See you next time.